Hello, everybody. Welcome to our hands-on training session on roles, permissions, and users. This is going to be critical for your, the internal controls of your organization, and Sangamis walks us through in a very logical, useful fashion. Of course, with every one of these training videos, I start with the user tools, and this is on our wiki. This is where all of your system documentation is housed. And from that first page, we drill down to users, and it, it goes through everything you need to know. If you, don't, you still have a question after reviewing the documentation, we have a great resource here. We use the Answer Hub, and you can type in your question or the topic. You can ask the question. The screen will populate with the answers. If your question still doesn't, isn't fully answered, simply ask a question. Someone from our community will get back with you pretty quickly with your answer. Now I'd like to turn the control over to Sangamesh and if you will, give us our hands-on demonstration. Thank you. Hello. I'm on the Mifos login page. Um, let me log in as a, a super user with the default uh, Mifos credentials. That is Mifos has the username and password has the password. Let me go to the admin, then system, and click on manage roles and functions. Here you could see a list of um, roles, available roles. In order to create a new role, we need to click on add role button. Let me create a sample loan officer role. Loan officer. I will provide the description. I will provide the description as create, then read for client then for the loan and click on submit so then now the role is created we need to give the permission for this role in order to give the permission we need to um, click on edit button as you could see there are you know categorized permissions available in order to create uh, in order to give the permission for creating a uh, client and giving the permission for read client, we need to go to the portfolio, then search for a uh, client. So it displays all the client entities, permissions. On checking the checkbox for, for example, create client, then for uh, mm, read client, then create client image, read client image, create client note, read client note. So on checking the checkbox, all these permissions are being associated for this loan officer for the for this role. Let me give the permission for loan as well. That is create loan, read loan. Update is for modifying the loan. Okay. Once, uh, once all the permissions, uh, required permissions are checkbox, you could click on submit in order to create this role. Please note, um, you could give those permissions which are associated for a particular role. Okay, 
as you could see here loan officer role has been created with the um, with appropriate permissions like you know you could see it create for create client it's checkboxed meaning for um, a user with a role loan officer he could create the client now we shall go back to the um, view roles again and you could see a new newly created role is available in the same way we could create a um, role new role for accountant accountant create then um, read accounting for what accounting okay you could also uh, provide the permission for updating for modifying the details then click on submit button now we'll, we shall go to the accounting category then click on edit then we shall um, give the permissions like you know, create accounting rule read accounting rule update create GL account, read GL account, update GL account, then read journal entry, create journal entry, etc. Okay, let me click on submit. Then let me go back to the view roles and create a um, add role. For a uh, um, mm, uh, for accessing only reports, okay. Let me say has uh, access to role uh, access to reports um, read reports. Okay and let me click on edit and check the checkbox for reporting super user meaning uh, access to reports role can access all the um, reports because i am giving the permission so uh, i'm giving the permission of a reporting super user then click on submit Uh, this is about you know, managed roles and permissions. Now, once these uh, managed roles and permissions are available, we shall go to the um, creating users. Let me click on admin, then users. Okay. Um, let me click on create user. Username is for um, using the name, using the same name, you could log in into MeForceX. So let's give has John and his name has John. John P has last name. You could uh, auto generate on providing the email ID, you could auto generate and send the password. Um, automated password to the provided email id okay and by default this would be checkbox if you don't want to um, auto generate the password you could uncheck and provide the password here let me provide the password manually and select the office for which office you want to associate uh, this client or sorry this user so let me select head office as of now and then give the permission, sorry, give the role as a loan officer. Then click on submit button. Okay. In the same way, let me uh, quickly create uh, one more office, manage offices.
branch office this street let me backdate create this office and click on submit okay now let me go back to the users again create a one more user with a different office let's say Anna Anna K sorry the name Anna K then the email ID let me uncheck to provide a password manually and associate this Anna to different office and give the permission as a content and click on submit now if I log out and log in has John user John then the password then if I click on clients I could be able to create client if I click on accounting you could see um, nothing is showing up in accounting module or in accounting category or if I click on reports you could see nothing is shown up because for John user we have given the permission for creating client then and then creating loan and read the loan okay. let me sign out and login has Anna password and then if I click on client you could see client uh, creating client option is not shown and if I click on accounting you could see you know uh, creating or adding journal entries then frequent posting chart of account all those are shown because I have given the permission um, accounting permissions for this rule so let me sign out and login as a super user super user can have all the access to the system okay. you could see a client group centers accounting all the categories are available okay let me sign out and pass it back to Dana Thank you, Dana. Thanks, Sangamesh. I completely appreciate it. I always like to watch your demonstrations. And again, I'd like to remind the viewers that we have the answer hub for some of their questions. We have the demo server that's out there, that's available, that can be hacked around on to try anything. Doesn't hurt a thing. Test out your ideas. We have our user list. If you've not signed up for the user list, please do so. This is another area where you can ask questions. The community will reply to you. And we also use this to make announcements to the community. We have our IM, our, our chat support, and of course our web page and our general mailbox. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.